Ladies and gents, these artifacts are looking pretty good and I wanted to show it to you guys. Obviously, you might have seen it already, but you know, Genshin Impact Twitter has already shown it to you guys and it's been on the live stream as well a few times. And I just wanted to straight up just talk about it because this is quite the artifact set. Now, while the equipping character in Knights of Blessing and is on the field, their damage dealt is increased by 15%. This is straight up just Natlin characters getting this two piece buff. And mostly this is going to be a Natlin only uh, artifact set. The four piece also needs Night Soul points. So when you have the Night Soul points, you're going to get your rate increased by 40% when you consume one Night Soul point on the field. This is insane. 40%. 40% that is so much crit and basically means that you don't need crit rates at all. You can just stack all your time into the crit damage and you'll be pretty much good. And this goes with the crit damage weapon serves up, right? They're pretty much chilling on that. And then there's this second artifact set. Now, this one is also a Natlin character only because you need to trigger Night Soul Burst. But the beautiful thing about this is that near by party members can trigger this and the equipping character can regenerate six elemental energy. This means that you can use this on that say Xiang Ling and then Mualani triggers the Night Soul Burst. Night Soul Burst happens, Yang Ling can get the elemental energy. This is pretty cool. I feel like I feel like this is pretty cool. I don't know. But this is where it gets even more interesting. The four piece set. After the equipping character triggers are related or a reaction related to the elemental type. So let's say if you're a hydro character, you do vaporize. That's counts in this. All nearby party members gain a 12% elemental damage bonus or the elemental types involved in the reaction. So, if you're Moalani and you trigger Vaporize, that means that both Hydro and Pyro characters within your party get that 12% elemental damage bonus. And there's an add. The equipping character is in the Night Soul Blessing state, so if this is an Athlon character, all nearby party members gain an additional 28%. This means a whole 40% element of damage bonus for free, pretty much. This is going to be a very, very good artifact set to be, it's a supportive artifact set. This means it'll be very, very strong. Now, this means that you can also have this off field and it would still work. But the only thing is that you can't stack these artifacts. So you can't go, oh yeah, maximum 120%. Um, um, the damage bonus, which, you know, makes sense. But it's just so, so powerful. Both of these are going to be pretty good. And this is just going to be straight up DPS one, and this one's going to be straight up support one. Well, I mean, it's going to increase some of the damage bonus, so I guess, I guess, or if this could be a DPS one too. In any case, this is very powerful. And also, for a side note, you get a free 1000 Primer Gems or logging in from the 26th of August to the 30th of August, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys do that so you can get a free 1,000 thanks to them winning to Gamescom Game of the Year or Mobile Game of the Year. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That, uh, that's all I wanted to cover. I think the artifact sets are going to be pretty, pretty good. And it's going to be worth it if you have a character that has nine soul. So, Achievement is going to be given for free, so you don't have to worry about that anyway. And yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye.